up guys welcome back to pay ups got the tea so today we're here to tap into the energy of my divine feminine so thank you guys for tuning in with me um i greatly appreciate that so let's see what is going on with my divine feminines we're gonna see what's going on in february holy spirit thou the most high i ask that you come within this reading and speak through me allow me to speak the truth what's going on with my divine feminines in february holy spirit Oh, I see you guys. Well, us in February. It's a lot of it's a lot of talking going on. I feel like y'all about that action this month, and y'all vocalizing yourself, like y'all letting stuff be known. I feel like a lot of you guys are going to be really stepping into a very good sense of grounding. Yes, I see a lot of you guys as well removing your presence from people's lives because you're like, it's it's not my responsibility to do X, Y, and Z for you. It's not my responsibility to always be there. It's not my responsibility. You know, like yes. I feel like some of you guys are going to remove your presence from people and it's going to be because you get divine insight on why you need to. Some of you might not get physical proof of why you need to stop talking to somebody, but y'all going to do it and y'all going to get divine, divine like messages on why you need to stop fucking with somebody. I see you guys really focusing on home life. Okay, cool. I feel like a lot of you guys are going to be focusing on healing. Like money is not going to be something i feel like that's a worry of yours but i do feel like some of you guys will be feeling like you can't forgive somebody yeah this is somebody that you had a lot of love for some of you guys will be cutting out a connection what is this yeah some of you guys are going to be cutting out some type of connection but you're going to gain a relationship in your life that i feel like you've been desiring yes and it's going to help you feel you're going to start back feeling in control of your life dreams going to be fucking popping Yes, and I feel like some of you guys are going to be stepping out on faith with a decision. Uh, yeah. So let's see. What lessons will my divine feminists be learning in February? What lessons will my divine feminists be learning in February, Holy Spirit? What lessons will my divine feminists be learning in February? Okay, y'all going to be learning about discipline pure speech and dharma okay cool so this is like really controlling yourself you're like y'all intuition gonna be telling y'all to just sit tight and let stuff play out in february most definitely you guys are gonna be practicing a lot of discipline so some of you guys might be starting um you know challenges some of you guys might be challenging yourself to stick more to a schedule oh 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 <laughs> Give me body, give me body. Some of y'all might be getting bodied a lot in, in February. So yes, some of y'all might be getting a lot of that. But I definitely see you guys are keeping your speech pure. So it's very much giving y'all putting positive affirmations out there a lot. And I feel like a lot of you guys are gonna have that moment where it's like, you know what? I learned from the situation. Yeah, y'all gonna be letting something go. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Some of y'all gonna have somebody that that they don't want you to let them go. This could be could have been somebody that you guys are very generous with and i feel like you guys started pulling that back because you lost your patience or some of you guys are gonna lose your patience with this person and stop showing so much compassion once you are aware of something that they've done or that they are trying to do or that they are yeah because y'all like i'm over pure actions and i have an understanding of what's going on yeah oh my goodness so some of you guys like yeah and I stress this so much. Even if you feel like something is going on, still move with pure intentions because that will help whatever is going on behind your back. That will help that come out way fucking faster. So I feel like because you guys are keeping it like y'all are, are being very honest with people. And I feel like y'all are moving with pure intentions. So it's giving you an understanding of what's not meant to be on your path. Yeah, and I feel like y'all gonna be regaining y'all. Y'all are gonna be regaining y'all focus once something is removed. It's something that's, that's that wasn't supposed to stick around. All right, so let's see. How will my divine feminists be feeling in February, Holy Spirit? A lot of self love. Okay, some of y'all could be starting something with herbal remedies. Some of y'all could be smoking a lot. Y'all are almost done. That's all I'm gonna say. By the end of February, I feel like something is going to be complete. I heard complete. Nine nine nine. 
Okay, I heard 7373. Look up age number 7373. Some of y'all might be stressed eating a lot, but I definitely see it's going to be a lot of laughing. Some of you guys, whatever is going to be happening, y'all going to be laughing. Like, it's very much given. I'm not mad. It's, the shit is just humorous to me. Some of you guys might be needing a lot of coffee. So it's, it's giving me vibes like y'all going to have some busy ass schedules. I feel like some of y'all are about to start something new, but make sure you cleanse your energy before you start this new chapter. Congratulations. And my body, oh, ain't no shame cause I gotta get mine. Yeah, so I feel like a lot of you guys are gonna be setting firm boundaries with people. Some of y'all are gonna have a good breakdown. I feel like it's gonna be, it's gonna be what number? <laughs> period, period, period. <laughs> it's gonna be one of them, like, yeah, it's not everywhere, but it's necessary. Some of y'all could cry. Some of y'all gotta have a breakdown after you have to decline something from somebody. But y'all like, I'm a badass. Like, I'll get through this. Yeah, I see a lot of you guys writing down your goals and dreams. Some of you guys want clarity in regards to what it is that you should be moving towards. Oh, shit. Some of y'all, please watch what y'all putting in y'all mouth. Please. Some of y'all, spirit gonna tell y'all, I heard specifically, don't suck that. You know that saying, they're like, suck that, shorty. Yeah, they're gonna be like, don't suck that, shorty. Please listen. Because if you don't listen to that, you're gonna have to, you gonna have to go to the doctor for something in regards to your mouth. And it's shutting your mouth and listening. Listen to, if you get that feeling about anybody, please listen to it. Ooh. Make sure y'all stay on y'all oral hygiene. But um, I definitely see, yeah, family issues are going to be coming up. And I feel like it's going to cause some of you to lose sleep. But I definitely see some of y'all need some alone time. So it's very much giving. Some of y'all can have like a, a outburst. Like, oh, fuck, get the way, you know, like, <laughs> you know, you be so mad. You can't even get your words together. Like, I feel like some of y'all going to have that moment where y'all need to like be by yourself. Yes, y'all need some alone time. I definitely see... If it gets to a point where you feel like something isn't going to happen, keep praying, keep chanting positive affirmations, and trust the process. Something is going to go in y'all favor that y'all didn't think would happen. Oh, some of y'all are going to find out that you are pregnant. Some of y'all might find out that y'all are pregnant before a party. Some of y'all, yeah, some of y'all going to be finding out y'all are pregnant. Ooh, and this, this pregnancy is really going to help you embrace your sense of self-worth. Yeah, I see a lot of you guys having busy schedules and people get on y'all nerves and y'all feeling misunderstood and not knowing what to do about it. I feel like some of y'all, um, something that's happened, I feel like, yeah, some of you, y'all will be forgiving somebody this month as well. But I do see some of y'all are needing to have courage to do something. And I see some of y'all might be seeking advice from an expert. Okay, something that's going to happen with you guys in February is going to require for you guys to stop thinking so fucking negative and trust the process. Replace shitty thoughts with true ones. So some of you guys, I can't even say some of y'all because I got this problem too, where if I feel like it happened, it happened. If I think it's going on, it's going on. I can I can be kind of crazy sometimes. But just replace shitty thoughts with ones that are true, things that you can prove. So let's see. So yeah, training your mind. Training your mind in February. Okay, so let's see. What is going on with my Divine Feminines in February, Holy Spirit? What is going on with my Divine Feminines in February? What is going on with my Divine Feminines in February? Okay. Oh, some of y'all going... Okay. 
some of y'all gonna have an issue with a motherfucker thinking they you or something. Some of y'all gonna have an issue with a motherfucker copying y'all. I don't know if this is like a loved one, a friend, anything. But it's like this motherfucker like literally wants to be you. I see in February, you guys, the, it's really gonna be about communication. I feel like some of you guys are gonna be communicating some some harsh truth. Yes, some type of communication. It's gonna, it's gonna cause permanent changes. I feel like, yes, communication is gonna, it's going to, cause permanent changes some of you guys are going to be stuck in regards to a decision with somebody what is this judgment in reverse okay and what's the other option okay some of y'all communication is key what is this page of cups? Okay. Okay, I see what it is. Some of you guys, oh shit. Some type of communication is going to change something. Like, mad crazy. I feel like if you had your mind made up about something, something is going to come in and I feel like it's going to make y'all really sit back and think. And I feel like it's going to be one of those, we need to have an honest fucking conversation opposed to all that lovey-dovey shit. Now, for some of you guys, y'all going to have two options. The first option, you know, y'all going to be feeling like y'all just want to release whatever the hell that y'all dealing with. Like, I want to cut business ties. You know, this not going to work out. Maybe this isn't for me. And on the other hand, y'all going to be like, you know what? The truth is the truth. You feel me? Like, I'm still thinking about this new beginning. So it's very much given. It's going to be some gossip. It's going to be some fucking gossip, y'all. And y'all going to have to decipher the truth. Y'all can do not let somebody ruin your happiness for you. Be careful what the fuck you even discuss with people. It's very much given. Hey, the vibe. This could be that motherfucker that think they you or something. Please be careful. Watch out. Please be careful, watch out. Some of y'all are going to be feeling like somebody is not like what you want. But I feel like, all honesty, whoever is bringing this information to you, this motherfucker is what they trying to portray this person out to be. Yes, most definitely. Y'all are definitely cutting somebody out. This is an ungrounded ass person. Somebody tried to make it seem like somebody did or they're going to try and make it seem like somebody that y'all did. This could be somebody that y'all starting a new beginning with. Like they're, like they're not grounded. Like they're not stable. Like, no, like you, no. Somebody tried to cause a change or they're gonna try to yes the issue of secrets coming out this moon in reverse this could be some shit that y'all didn't even had no clue about what is this hype priestess in reverse this could be something somebody could say something that you that you thought about you feel me somebody could say something maybe you brought like maybe you brought a concern up to somebody and i feel like somebody gonna be trying to fucking play off that shit yeah putting an end to that shit somebody doing that shit thought it had an upper hand Somebody is doing that to have the upper hand and, and yes, cause heartbreak. Somebody don't want you to be happy behind an offer that they know was coming in for you. Some of y'all, somebody like, oh gosh. Some of y'all, when it's, some of y'all gonna have an offer come in for y'all. But I feel like some of y'all gonna be a bit heartbroken and a little sad about news that y'all got. Mmm. Some of y'all gonna be a little stuck on whether or not to cut a, a cut somebody off, a partner. Um, this could be in regards to a Virgo Taurus Capricorn Gemini Cancer energy because something will be illuminated. But it, I don't think you feel me. You gotta really ask yourself: Is this the truth or not? It's very much given. Yeah, like somebody being manipulative. With this magician card, man. Somebody wants to apologize and offer something, but it's given. Somebody is trying to block that. Somebody is trying to block that. Yeah, somebody trying to make somebody think that somebody is not the person that they think that they are. But it's because a new beginning is going to change every fucking thing. Like, it's very much like, it's like if you about to get in a relationship with somebody and say y'all about to get married and shit. Like, your whole life is going to change. The things that you normally would do, like, now you have to set aside time, you know. Some things might get a little less time as you're fresh into like a new beginning and stuff. Like, man, it's damn near like somebody is fearing change and they trying to stop it for you. It's one of those. Yeah, some of you guys are going to be thinking like, yeah, I think I want to take it slow to figure out if this person really care about me. Some of you guys might be thinking about cutting out somebody that you, yeah, moving away. Some of y'all might be a little bit down at the fact that somebody did not apologize 
Yeah, but I feel like y'all have been optimistic, or maybe you guys will be optimistic that this person came back. What do they want? Yeah, somebody, bro, somebody don't want you to have a new beginning. And it's very much like y'all kind of picking up on it. But y'all also going to be in y'all fucking head like, well, maybe this shit kind of true. And then y'all going to start questioning whoever y'all dealing with. But in the past, man... I feel like what's crazy in the past, this person could have been a little toxic, which I feel like that's what's going to fucking confuse you. But y'all going to be in y'all head heavy as hell. Ultimately, though, y'all going to be like, y'all going to be fighting some shit. I feel like somebody is trying to put some works on some shit to stop something. Whether they actually doing that, you know, I ain't put a spell on you. Like, I, don't, I do not fucking know. It's very much given. Who is that? It's very much giving, yeah. Somebody could be trying to do some spell work to stop a new beginning from coming in, to stop you guys from starting a new chapter. Or this could be, like, people or somebody, like, trying to control the narrative by spreading lies and shit, rumors and shit. Y'all really gonna have to use discernment. Y'all gonna have to use discernment. What is coming? What is coming in February? I definitely see y'all getting to it, though. A lot of you guys are going to be chasing your passions. I feel like in y'all moment of weakness, it's going to help y'all to chase y'all passions. And I feel like y'all really doing what y'all love is going to help put an end to that weakness. It's very much given, like, whatever a motherfucker try, though, it's some weak-ass shit, and it's going to be over. That's probably what they meant by it's, it's almost over. It's almost over. Somebody was upset. Somebody could be mad because they could have wanted a new beginning with somebody, but they know this person is coming in to offer you a partnership. Somebody could have somebody got a mad ass fuck buddy. Or this could be like an old partner, old, you know, whatever you did. It was sexual though. And somebody's mad because they know this person coming in to like they want love with you. R L L, I need love. This person might have been trying to take it slow. This person might start moving a little weird and pull back a little bit. And I feel like, oh, gosh, this person might be in the same energy. What is this nine of swords? Yeah, this person is just going to be thinking like, damn, should they come with all these motherfucking problems? This burden is like, am I doing the right thing? But with this ace of pentacles, they're going to still make the offer. No thought, no fucking doubt about it. No fucking doubt about it. But what is this seven of swords? Yeah, it's very much given. Like, somebody wants y'all to think that somebody is a cheater. Trying to get an emotional, like, yes. They trying to get a rise out of y'all. What is this justice card? What's crazy? Love conquers all. Period, point blank. Love conquers all. So, the magic that somebody is going to do on y'all is to how y'all thinking that y'all person is, like, a <laughs> slut. You know, like, a whore. you know, like, and they gonna do magic on your person to make them think that, you know, like, like they want third parties, like they want to cheat. And that's not the case at all. So make sure y'all stay prayed up in February because y'all definitely got some hating ass people that's going to really try to stop what y'all trying to do. All right, so let's see. What else is going to go on? Matter of fact, I want to know some shit. I want to know some shit. Ooh. Give me a little information spread about these people trying to stop this new beginning. Because how dare they? Who do they think they are? Give me a little information on them, spirit, please. I feel like I'm just being a little demanding. Can you please give me a little information in regards to these people trying to stop this new beginning? For my divine feminines. Man, yo, it's some people that know what y'all destined for. Like, this could be somebody that's a bit, this person's very, like, these are people that are very calculated. These could be people that have been, like, branching off from y'all that y'all been trying to branch off from. These people, like, they are not very optimistic. They're not very optimistic. These are people that want you to change your mindset, to get back to a lack mindset. These people don't make good decisions. These are people that y'all walked away from. These could be people that y'all had to deliver a harsh truth to. These could be people that's not really content with they are either in their career, job-wise, or anything. These people are not stable. What is this truth? 
yeah these could be individuals that either you or your person just know like it's not gonna fucking work out i'm not doing this shit with you yeah i know what the fuck i want to do man man these are people that don't like these individuals don't want somebody to straighten up their life because that it means they they feel like they're gonna get left behind so they about to try and do everything some of y'all even got people teaming up oh my gosh oh my gosh they're not gonna be successful with that shit though it's more than one way to skin a potato yes Yeah, it's very much given to. Some of these people, be careful, y'all. Because some of these people going to be after your person. Like, some of these individuals even going to try to make a move on y'all person. They going to, some of these people are going to message your person trying to flirt with them or trying to hook them up with somebody. Yes, using magic. These people are trying to control your person's actions through magic and your actions. This magician with this eight of wands. Yes, they want to have the upper hand. They want y'all to release each other. They want y'all to be up fucking set so y'all can start a cycle back with them and come back to them. Some of y'all got people that's so fucking mad about y'all distancing y'all self from there that they, they would do anything to break y'all the fuck up. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yeah, and what's crazy, some of y'all might be thinking that y'all partner being sneaky, but what y'all don't see is you will be truly happy with your person, period, point blank. Y'all going to, like, y'all picking up on the sneaky energy, but it's giving illusions. Somebody trying to spin a, a web of illusions. Y'all going to be picking up on a sneaky energy, but it's not going to be who you think it is. Some of y'all, I think it's going to completely shock the fuck out of you when you find out who the fuck is being sneaky. shit the only thing this person was being sneaky about was just really wanting to love you like honestly but it's, some of y'all could be dealing with somebody that i feel like they probably are not where they want to be at you know they probably feel like they know where they want to be at and they're in a place of weakness like they don't feel strong enough or they don't feel ready enough to make an investment but they know that you make them happy so they're gonna go for it any fucking way yeah, some of y'all bring a lot of light to y'all, you feel me, to, to the lives of y'all partners. Some of y'all partners, I feel like they're in a very cold, like, energy, like, before y'all met. This person could have, yeah, because look at even the backgrounds. They could have been, like, in a very cold place in their life. They could have felt like they stopped transforming, like, life just stopped or, like, life was just crazy. And I feel like you guys brought light to this person's life. Some of you guys brought, yeah, because this King of Swords is a bare card. This person felt like, you know, this person could have felt like they didn't know what to do next in their life. I feel like you guys brought a new mindset, a new energy around this person, that things are growing for them, including their finance. They are more balanced. The sun is actually shining in their life. You make them happy. Yes, I feel like they want to, like, this is somebody who they, they really feel it in their heart, like, at one point in time, they probably didn't want to give love another try. But y'all make them want to release that negative-ass attitude that ain't nothing going to go right. Some of y'all help y'all person change their attitude. Yeah, I feel like in the past, this person could have made some decisions. Okay. Yeah, in the past, this person could have made some decisions. This person could feel like they're not... Like, they don't know if they're they making the right decision. But all they know is that they stuck. They stuck on you. They feel that love that you give them. They feel that you are nurturing. And then it's crazy because in this card, it's, it's a lot of water. Y'all give a very nurturing energy that helps somebody grow. And they, they fuck with you. I fuck with you, girl. Yeah, some of y'all, man. Some of y'all could even walk away from y'all partner temporarily until y'all really find the truth out. Please don't get worked up. But y'all will be back. Yeah, because y'all ready for a change. Oh, y'all going to be missing y'all, boo. Period. King and Queen of Cups. Some of y'all might temporarily walk away from y'all person, but the love, like, the love is going to bring y'all back together. What is this? Ace of Swords. Yes. And I, what's crazy, whatever these people try to throw at y'all, I feel like, event, like at some point it's going to click with y'all. The truth is going to come. I feel like the truth might not come from these individuals, but spirit going to give y'all the truth right in y'all face where y'all can't even deny it. Y'all cannot even deny it. 
yeah i feel like these individuals attempts to make you call like these individuals like when you're out here dating multiple people they like when you not focused they like when you not doing what you're supposed to be doing for your path because things move slow for you they like that but i feel like you guys are going to be calling judgment these are individuals that y'all been thinking about y'all been questioning people's authenticity and i feel like y'all gonna get the clarity that y'all need to finally be able to make a decision by the end of february like oh my gosh yes your children are protected invite good fortune in find a way to abundance y'all gonna be really focusing on that bag in february follow your intuition some of y'all with these situations some of y'all will be finding out y'all pregnant it's gonna bring hope to a relationship but let things flow go with the flow in february let things play out and some of y'all are going to have to learn how to let go of people and think bigger for your future moving forward with positive change i definitely feel like whoever this is that y'all have to cut off it is gonna hurt i feel like y'all are gonna be heartbroken that you know they will go to these lengths to try to keep you or somebody away but at the same fucking time life goes on you are currently undervaluing yourself. It's time to regain your sense of self-worth. Something which no longer serves you is about the... What the fuck was that? Oh. <laughs> it's gonna be some shit going on, y'all. Y'all gonna be what the fuck was that? Please stay on top of y'all prayers. Ask the universe and the angels for help and guidance, y'all. Yes, it's time to clear our old negative thoughts and feelings. It's time to look at how you treat yourself. Yes, yeah, so some of y'all about to have a transformation yourself yourself you help your person transform and i feel like they want to return a favor and help you believe in love again as well and i feel like you know it's a time to let go of old negative thoughts old negative people old negative feelings so you can start this new abundant life yes so what is the advice for my divine feminist holy spirit you may have sacrificed your peace of mind and spiritual balance to pursue material wealth but examine whether your quest is a curse or a blessing and early I did say some of y'all will be focusing on home life, love, happiness. When you are truly happy, and that's why some of these people don't want y'all to truly be happy because they know everything is a go after that. It's a throw. It's a throw. <laughs> like everything is a throw after that because whatever you want, you're going to think about something that's going to come to you. That's why a lot of these people don't want y'all to really be happy. That's why a lot of these people don't want y'all to really be happy because they know that you you already a badass manifester. Like, you you really be in love and shit. Like, you gonna be like damn near to so what's the motherfucker that twitches? You gonna be damn near like twitches, making shit happen. Okay, you may not have been aware that you still need external validation to feel good about yourself. Surrender what you believe is wrong with you and you will never need to be right again. So, yeah, some of you guys, you could have discussed your relationship with these same individuals. And that's why they felt like they could, you know, play a part in keeping you and your person away from each other. But the moment that you release the need to need validation from anybody and start moving according to your heart, watch how it go. Some of you guys need to forgive your father. Some of you guys definitely need to forgive your father. <clears throat> if I do not ask what I want, the need to keep getting bigger. <clears throat> you may have thought you had to do it all along, but ask for what you need and know that it's okay to do so. Some of you guys, your person is coming in to bring you help. Um, some of y'all got a hard time asking for help. And I feel like when you truly feel loving and comfortable with somebody it's a bit easier so i feel like this is what the universe wants you guys to do being a more feminine energy <clears throat> there are times when i need to be alone you may have believed that being alone was bad or frightening but allow yourself to explore the possibilities and opportunities being offered to you some of you guys probably have a very codependent relationship with whoever is about to get exposed for trying to you know separate something and i feel like this is god just showing you like you know like it's okay sometimes to walk paths alone. And what's crazy, <clears throat> I don't feel like y'all gonna be alone for good. I just feel like you just need to clear your energy so that you can clear your aura so that you can bring in this love. Like, what the fuck? <clears throat> I realized that pain is a warning that something is out of order. Some of you guys, when whatever this information, this communication is, y'all gonna be hurting, but y'all gonna know that something ain't right. Follow your intuition. Follow your intuition. Stop hiding what you feel and what you think. And pay attention to the ways that you give and receive love. It's time for you guys to start dealing with those unpleasant memories. Like, it's just a lot of healing going on in February. And I'm I'm happy. I'm very happy. Whoo, child. A lot of prayer, y'all. Make sure y'all stay on top of y'all. Cleansing baths. Saging. Make sure y'all scripting.
Make sure, like, my favorite prayer is, Lord, remove anybody from my life that is using me, abusing me, talking behind my back, or that just don't have good intentions. Stay on top of y'all prayers, y'all. I want to thank y'all for joining me today. Thank y'all for joining the Pimps Got to See. I really appreciate y'all support. Hopefully, this reading brings you closure, clarity, and confirmation. Stay on point in February. Uh -huh.